Hey Pew Crew, welcome back. If you're watching this video, chances are you're a pretty big fan of theme parks. One thing that all theme park goers have in common is that we hate waiting in line. So what we're gonna do in today's video is talk about Universal Orlando's Express Passes. We're gonna talk about how they work, the different kinds of passes, cause yeah, believe it or not, there is more than one. And we're even gonna tell you the biggest mistakes that people make when purchasing these passes. Universal's Express Passes are an add-on to your theme park ticket that allow you to skip the regular line and save yourself some time. When you walk up to an attraction that offers these Express Passes, you'll see two separate lines. The first one that you'll see is the standby line where the majority of guests enter the attraction, and the second line you see is that Express Entrance. If you have a valid Express Pass, all you have to do is walk up to that Express line and head on in. When you enter the Express queue, there'll be a team member standing out front that checks your pass before you head on in. And then further into the queue, there'll be another team member that actually scans your pass. So you'll wanna make sure that you keep those handy the entire time. Yeah, so if you happen to like slip by the first team member, you probably haven't really accomplished anything <laughs> because they are actually gonna scan it or want to scan it if you don't have one a little bit further in the line. Also, we did wanna mention that you can't share an Express Pass with anyone else. We get asked this a lot, especially by families that have like smaller children, but the Express Passes are tied to a specific name and only the person whose name is tied to the Express Pass can actually use it. Universal advertises that the Express Passes will save you about half of the posted wait time. So for example, if Spider-Man is a 30 minute wait, you should expect to wait about 15 minutes with Express. But with that being said, in our experience, the wait times are usually less than that. And the longer the posted wait times, the more time Express tends to save you. We actually have a few videos where we timed how long it took us to get through the Express line versus the standby line Line, and even the single riders line. So if you wanna see how express passes work when you're actually in the parks, we'll leave a link to those in the description down below. By this point in the video, you're probably sitting there like, let's go, let's get express passes. <laughs> uh, but there's a few other things you might need to consider. Uh, for instance, when you go to purchase express passes on Universal's website, you will be met with a couple of options. One of them being a limited versus unlimited express pass. They're kind of self-explanatory. Uh, limited <laughs> limits you to one ride on each participating attraction with that express pass. And then the unlimited one, uh, it limits you to like, uh, there's not a limit because that's what <laughs> unlimited means. You get it. When you go to purchase your Express Pass, you also have to choose between a one park and a two park pass. So there are four different versions of Express Passes that you can purchase on Universal's website. And this may have you thinking, why would you wanna purchase an Express Pass to just one park or one that limits you to one Express ride? And the answer to that question was best summarized by our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, when he said the famous quote, Money, 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 money! <laughs> Pretty much everyone that visits Universal wants to have an Express Pass, right? It's why you're watching this video and Universal knows that. And they also know that people are gonna pay a lot of money for that convenience. But just like with tickets, there are some ways to make the Express Passes more affordable. And one of those is by visiting one park per day. If you're looking at the one park Express Pass, regardless of if it's the limited or the unlimited pass, it's going to be $10 cheaper than the two-part pass. So if you're buying passes for a family of four, that can really add up over a three or four day vacation. On top of that, if you're visiting Universal for a short amount of time, maybe a day or two, and you're wanting to experience everything, the Unlimited Express Pass might not make much sense because you're probably not going to have a lot of time to re-ride rides when you're only there for that amount of time. So yeah, it just makes sense to purchase the limited express pass. It's also going to save you like $30, which is roughly 3.68 to four <laughs> butterbeers. If you're enjoying this video, if you would, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. We talk about all things theme parks here. So if that's something you're interested in, you can hit that subscribe button as well. 
But before you click off this video and go purchase your Express Passes, there are a few things you should be aware of. And one of them is that not all attractions have Express. Most of them do, but there are three rides in the parks that don't, and they are Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, the Velocicoaster, and Pteranodon Flyers. On top of that, Express Passes aren't valid during early park admission, and they won't work at Volcano Bay either. The water park does have their own Express Passes though, so if that's something you're interested in, let us know in the comments down below and we might make a video about that as well. A few other things to keep in mind about Express Passes is that they do go up in price as more people buy them, you know, the whole supply and demand thing, <laughs> and they can even sell out. We don't see that that often, but we have seen it. So purchasing your passes early, especially if you plan on going like during a busier time of year or during the holidays, can save you a lot of money and it will guarantee that you get that express pass if you're wanting it. And now we're gonna talk about the biggest mistake that people make when purchasing Express Passes, and it has to do with how they buy them. Of course, you can buy single day Express Passes on Universal's website, but like we mentioned, they're not cheap. A single day limited Express Pass starts at $80, but the prices go up depending on how busy the parks are. A two park unlimited Express Pass can cost upwards of $200 per person per day that, during peak season. That is probably on the low side. Uh, just last week, <laughs> the week between Christmas and New Year's, which is a very busy week in the parks, passes were over $400 per person Whew. and people were still buying them. Glad y'all are doing so well. <laughs> but even if you base it off of that $200 Express Pass, if you're buying them for a family of four for a three day vacation, that's $2,400 on Express Passes alone. The best way to save money on an Express Pass at Universal is by staying at one of their three premier on-site hotels, which are the Hard Rock, Portofino Bay, and Royal Pacific. When you stay at one of these three hotels, your stay includes a two-park unlimited Express Pass for everyone in your room. This could literally save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. These Express Passes, if you purchase them separately, start at $120 per person per day. So for a family of four, that's $480 and it doesn't even include your hotel room. The premier hotels, on the other hand, start at around $260 per night and they include express passes. That's already a savings of $220 plus whatever the other hotel would have cost. There is one last way that you can get an express pass for the parks and that's with the top tier annual pass. The premier annual pass comes with a limited express pass after 4 p.m. So if you're someone that visits the parks frequently, especially if you're a local or if you're someone that doesn't plan on staying at one of the on-site hotels, this is a great way to get an express pass without having to spend a ton of money. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. Leave us a comment in the comment section and let us know what's your favorite Abraham Lincoln quote. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. You can hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you get an alert every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching. I like pie.